to day five. Uh, day five, we are currently anchored here at Juno. It's about Woo! close to a little after 7 a.m. in the morning. Today is an early day. We've been up for a little while. We're actually scrambling right now to get out the door. We are doing our dog sledding excursion. 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 <laughs> I'm tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> excursion today. However, this one is specifically not booked through Disney. So we have to make it off the ship and to our appointment ourselves. So we got to get going. Uh, so we'll keep this brief, but we're doing dog sledding today. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be amazing. And then we have the salmon bake a little bit later uh, this afternoon. So it's going to be a lot of stuff going on. It is very cloudy outside. Not sunny like yesterday in Skagway. So we'll see how the helicopter ride goes with that. Yeah. Not going to lie, a little bit nervous, but... It might be cold. I'm more so nervous for the cold. I hope it's not terrible. <laughs> yeah, we definitely brought warm attire, so hopefully it will be enough, but... Uh, yeah. After that, we have dinner at Tiana's, which it's the big celebration tonight. So I'm super excited since I missed it last cruise. So I think that is pretty much what we have planned for today. So come one and wander with us through day five aboard the Disney Wonder here in Juneau on our seven night cruise to Alaska. Well, if we weren't in a rush, we'd be looking at the beauty of the ship right now. But we're in a rush, so we can't. Yeah. We got on one of the shuttles that he said he is going to the tram, so we'll see. <laughs> okay, um, so our shuttle uh, was like a little five minute shuttle, brought us right here. A uh, good landmark to notate is the base of the gold belt tram system that takes you straight up the mountain. Uh, this is where we wait for our helicopter now tour. we wait. <laughs> yeah. Juno's top attraction. Is that like just a little walking trail? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, lower loop trail. So that's just a walking trail. Along that's pretty cool. Mile? Yeah, that's beautiful. The only downside is you probably have to pay a lot to get up there. Well, I mean, the tickets for the tram don't seem too terrible. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to have time though. Let's review what we're doing. We're doing the helicopter <laughs> ride first. Uh, we'll be back. What time did they estimate? I think they estimated it's maybe about three and a half hours. Three and a half. And as soon as we get back, we got to head back to the ship to check in for our actual Disney uh, excursion, which is the Salmon Bake. Salmon bake. Um, so we'll be going to that. The Salmon Bake is kind of very lenient though, in the sense that you can stay as long as you like or leave as early as you like. They have trams going, I think they said like every 10 or 15 minutes or something like that. Um, so I don't know, I guess depending on our timing, that trail does look very appeasing, but. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> that sucker's going all the way up the mountain. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Once again, right behind me here where that bus is, that's where they dropped us off. Uh, and that was just a free shuttle from Disney into the downtown area of Juneau. Um, so you, even if you're not doing a Disney excursion, you can get on that shuttle, come into downtown Juneau. I can already see plenty of shops, plenty of restaurants, uh, a lot of cool sights to at least see, even if you're not doing a specific excursion. We left the ship about 720, 725, and we pulled up here uh, with our shuttle about 733. So, especially if you're getting off the ship early and you don't have to worry about crowds or anything like that, you get over here very, very fast. Always make sure you get to your excursions early just in case you don't want to be the people running to make it in time like we did in, uh, uh, where was it? I wanted to say Cosmo, it's not Cosmo, uh, Grand, uh, Grand Cayman. Cayman, yeah. Don't be us. I will say it is also very early. Like yeah. not the, uh, not many of the shops here are open yeah. yet, so it could bathrooms become, aren't even open yet. <laughs> so it could become crowded yes. later and take longer yes. later in the day. Yeah, agree. The coastal helicopters, people are pretty easy to find there. Well, she's wearing a bright orange jacket, but she's got a bright yellow sign that says coastal helicopters, and she's just kind of wandering finding the people who book the tour. So they're pretty easy to find, which is very nice. And as of now, everything is still a go. 
Granted, with the weather right now, she did say there is still the possibility of a cancellation, but as of now, everything is a go, so we will see. Truthful, that was probably like a 10 or 15 minute helicopter ride. Maybe, to yeah. Get here. Beautiful up here though. Get a great shot of the glacier or great viewing of the glacier. Yeah. We can have up to 300 dogs in camp. But that's just crazy. That's way too many dogs. So we went with a much more sane and reasonable number of 240. <laughs> or slightly more sane and reasonable. Dogs in this camp are all what's called Alaskan Huskies. Alaskan Huskies are a performance bred dog. They are bred for their job and that job is to pull. So you're gonna see a lot of different looks out here today. And that's simply because we don't care what they look like. <laughs> just so long as they are the three H's. And that's happy, healthy, and hard working. Genetically speaking, they are their own breed of dog. They are this Alaskan Husky. Um, but because there is, uh, um, no breed standard like you find with like purebred dogs. Um, you end up with a wide variety of looks, shapes, sizes, builds, or what have you. 240 dogs comes 240 personalities. <laughs> so just like you and I, every one of these dogs has their own individual personalities. We have very outgoing dogs in camp and we also have very introverted dogs in camp and everything in between. So uh, your mushers will do a very good job of telling you who's good to pet, who's good to pass on by. The dogs themselves do a really good job telling you who's good to pet, who's good to pass on by. So a good rule of thumb is you pet the ones trying to tackle you, that's the ones trying to get away from you. Let's so ask that you guys please listen to your mushers while we're out and about today. We're here to show you a very fun time, but also here to help keep you safe. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get you guys grouped up. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, I want to go. 
to interview you right now because we won't hear anybody but I just so loud <laughs> you're gonna start a howl <laughs> oh it's long been started <laughs> <laughs> I'm living out my Balto dreams. I'm <laughs> so happy. <laughs> we gotta get that medicine to what you face. Get the medicine. <laughs> Feels good. Does that feel good? <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hello. Hello. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. Hello. Oh. <laughs> We're on a freaking glacier right now. How crazy is that? <laughs> So there are puppies here. Miss Lollipop here looks like had some puppies, but unfortunately they're four to five weeks old right now. And so we're not able to handle them until they're about six weeks and vaccinated. So we won't be handling any puppies, unfortunately, but they are in there. <laughs> yeah, there's four of them in there total. Oh, how long does she get a break from running before she starts again? Uh, it all depends on the owner of the dog. Um, I do. <laughs> A month off before they give birth. The gestation period of a dog is 63 days. When they're halfway through their pregnancy, I stop running them. I don't start running my females again until they're dried up. Gotcha. Um, so until they, the pups are completely weaned. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs>
cold. It's not as slick as I thought it would be. Uh, it's pretty cold. <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> kick the rock. Sorry, let me get it. Back. Ooh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Talk about ice cold. <laughs> be in heaven. What's that? I saw be in heaven with yeah. how cold it is. Oh, whoa. Yeah. That's the color of the glacier. Whoa. Oh, that's intense. <laughs> yeah, it kind of pushed me away. Um, I think I may have just accidentally put it in my pocket. Yeah. Alright, this is so cool. If you have the opportunity to do the extended one, where or the extended tour where you go on a glacier and you get to drink the water and walk around, it's amazing. So cool. Yeah, this is nuts. And there's a mountain goat yeah. behind us. I don't know if they'll be able to see it, but there's you, a Yeah, goat. you probably can't see it, but we there's a mountain see goat behind yeah. us. <laughs> it's so cool, and the glacier water is so good. We have a full water <laughs> bottle of it now. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. My hands are frozen, but it's worth it. <laughs> Gotta get another sip of glacier water with my hands because when else are you gonna be able to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Rise on up. <laughs> After all that, <laughs> please rise on up and follow Katie to the gangway located on deck number one. one. Forward.
faster. Oh, we can smell that campfire. Oh, it's amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's raining. It's raining out, but it is still gorgeous. You, you realize that means you got caught. I've, I've been captured. <laughs> I right, love that smell are. so much. That smell That's is like amazing. That's one of my favorite smells right there. That's just camping. Oh my god. Yeah. I, I mean, it's grilling, but. It smells this amazing. Oh my god. It's beautiful. So, clam chowder right here as soon as you walk in, and then bam, salmon bake. There is covered seating, so if it's raining like it is now, <laughs> you can be covered from the rain. I would like some salad. All right, so we're starting out with some Caesar salad. I don't know, it looks good. I'm gonna have a little bit of salad. Cody's going for it. Coleslaw? Uh, no, I'm okay. Thank you, though. Uh, pickle, pickles, or olives? Nope. Coleslaw, pickles, olives. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> My guess is this is cornbread here. No beans? No beans for me. But you do have beans as an option. We've got wild rice. This, you want rice, right? Yes, this please. Is. Got the wild rice. Um, macaroni and cheese, it looks yeah, like. Sorry. Macaroni and cheese. Plus some potatoes. Potatoes. What is that right there? That looks like chicken or, no, it's ribs. Oh my God, there's ribs. <gasps> There's ribs. So you want potatoes, right? There's ribs. Okay. I'm yes, yes please. I did want ribs, yes. Wait, Holy, uh, how much are you giving me here? This is yours. I know. Look at this plate. Um, there isn't even a... Um, I'll take one for now. It isn't all you can eat, so come back for seconds and thirds. I don't know how much of this I can have since it's not plain. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get one and we'll split one. Do you want fish and your salmon? I would love some. Thank you so much. <laughs> we'll just do one. All right. Oh, thank you so much. Beautiful. One on that one? Uh, we're just going to take this one. She's never had salmon, oh, so she's okay. going to try it. And then <laughs> All right. Thank, thank you. So you. Do you want to your salmon? Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful this is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you try your salmon yet? Oh I'm nervous. To me, scale of one to ten fishiness, it's like a two. You can still taste fish, but the other flavors overpower it. Alright, here goes. It's good. That's not too bad. That's really good. For her to say that, that means something. This is a big piece. Do you see how big this piece is? Wait, do I see? Is it, is it fish or is it it's fish? Okay. <laughs> I'm very nervous about eating the bones. I am very, very sensitive to fish taste of fish. And this is very, very mild. Like can hardly taste the fishiness I feel like so if you're not a fish lover try this and see see how you like it there's a beaver dam let me zoom in on it there it is you it's a little hard to see through the the bushes here but there's a beaver dam. Is that a spider line on my earlobe? I'm, I'm weak just thinking about that. I'm giving this a five out of five pause. Mm -hmm. Ambiance and food. Check, check, check. Hello. <laughs> when and wonder. <laughs> 
Quick CZ vlogs. Check that on out too. <laughs> a s'more. When was the last time you had a s'more? Oh my gosh, it's been so long. It's been too long. <laughs> Someone gave us a s'more kit. I don't yeah. know if these are actually here at the salmon bake or not, but. And then Shane just picked up some they, marshmallows. Yeah, I just got. The tree. Well, oh my gosh, the marshmallows are provided for sure. But I don't know where the s'more kit came from. Someone was kind enough to give us their extra one when they were done. The Mine Camp Camp Saloon makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go see if we can figure out where they are. So, how cool is this? You roast your marshmallow on like an actual stick. Like, it is a legit stick. <laughs> Let me get my, my little sandwich ready. on the outside, soft on the inside. The salmon bake is an all-you-can-eat buffet kind of thing where you can come and get some fresh salmon plus some other things that they have, which is the whole reason I came for the most part. I mean, granted, when in Alaska, you have to have salmon, I feel like. So even though I don't like salmon, I still tried it and it was actually pretty good. Surprisingly, I'm shocked, but it's gorgeous because they have it nicely set up, like the actual bake itself. That area is set up very beautifully with all the lights, the seating, the cover so that you can eat rain or shine. And then the further back that you go, there's this beautiful river that's actually kind of running along the seating area too. Is it a river or a creek? Yeah, it's like a small river, big creek. <laughs> Um, and then even further beyond that, there's a gorgeous waterfall that we haven't looked at yet, but I can see it. I'm excited. Let's go look at it. Don't fall in. It's definitely squishy right there. Uh-oh. Just... Brisk. We're now impervious to every type of cold. <laughs> but look how nicely they have this set up. Like, they've got lights going along. They probably put these here on purpose so that people don't go wandering off on us. <laughs> and you know, it's so crazy because it looks like we are just surrounded by forests here. But the city is honestly not too far away. It's like probably just over this hill. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, we gotta get a picture of that. I can't believe we missed it. There was a bear that just crossed the waterfall right before we got up here. And we oh missed it. Oh my God, we missed it. But the people who were walking away told us, you just missed a bear cross over the waterfall. <laughs> oh my God. I'm back. Not entered. It actually looks like it goes back pretty far. Definitely flooded in there. Tell you what. Definitely not going in there. Seen the descent. And he's still looking for the bear, understandably. I want to see it too. It's gotta be up on that ridge somewhere.
terrifying. Yeah. That's straight up descent. Yeah, I was gonna say a <laughs> creature's gonna come running out. Yeah. It does look like it's flooded. I wonder how someone decided, you know what? Yes. This is the spot I wanted, Dave. <laughs> you know? Looks like, great. Yeah. Looks looks nice, looks safe. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Oh, I see Andy. He took the fisherman because I was the fish earlier. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so concludes our salmon bake adventure. I'm so sad because it was absolutely amazing. Five paws out of five. Highly recommend. But now we are heading back to the ship to get ready to leave. <laughs> Oh, there's hot chocolate! <laughs> and you can bet that I got some. <laughs> this is a nice welcome back from the cold of Juno. <laughs> it wasn't that cold. It could have been a lot colder. <laughs> chilly up on the glacier. Yeah, but still, I can pretend it was kind of cold. Okay. My legs are... I'm tired. Here, how about we walk along the fun part and then uh, okay. we'll go up the stairs at the back. Oh, well, don't yawn. I'm tired. I'm going to yawn. It was an early morning. Yes, it was. I slap it. <laughs> okay. I can't believe you didn't touch it. I don't know. I was getting you water. You're weird. That's the only explanation. You crazy lady. Now you've, we've now touched iceberg ice from a glacier. Or so we were told. <laughs> yeah, so we were told. <laughs> Whoa, a plane just flew right by. Oh, that was cool. All right, so we just got back onto the ship and Cody is getting his coffee since I have my hot chocolate. <laughs> Oh, the people in here know him. <laughs> the people in here know you, eh? That's this car stands for. Captain Mitty? Ah. Captain Mitty. <laughs> <laughs> it's one thing I love about these coffees, they're not hot enough where I burn myself. I can always drink it right after they make it. Oh, that is an important one for yeah. Cody. <laughs> I always burn my, my tongue, so this one, I'm able to drink it right after they make it. Is there one? What's your favorite food? Ooh, food from Cabanas. I can't say anything right now because I don't know what it is. Ooh, that's a tough one. Yeah. I'm gonna have to think about that. That's, yeah, that's yeah, true. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm crooked. There we go. Okay. <laughs> made it back 15 minutes to spare. Grant, well, that's life. We've made it back with much more time to spare. Yeah. We are now sitting enjoying hot chocolate and coffee with 15 minutes to spare. Oh my god. Two, four, six, eight. 
Yeah. There's like nine to ten eagles out there, right? Bald eagles in there. Oh my god, you can see them. Crazy because I feel like the camera doesn't do it justice. Either. Well, it, it doesn't show them as close as they actually are. Yeah. Like looking at the camera, it looked a lot farther away than what it actually was. Yeah. Like that sure was you bring so close. Your binoculars. Yes, these are essential on an Alaskan cruise. <laughs> That's so wild. Oh, that was so cool. All right, bye Juno. You are absolutely wonderful. But now we head off to Ketchikan. Right time. Oh my gosh. I love your get up. It looks awesome. Don't tell any of the other species, but you're my favorite. Tiana's place for the Mardi Gras celebration. So as you can see the menu, it's so cute. It's decorated in Mardi Gras. So here are the appetizers. We have the sausage fritters, charcuterie board, shrimp and grits, and ahi tuna, soups and salads, seafood pepper pot, tomato soup, iceberg wedge, 
cabbage and ooh, what is that? Gulf shrimp and satsuma orange salad. No idea what that is. <laughs> and then we have the vegetarian entrees, artichoke ravioli, butternut squash. And if you're interested in any, any of these, please feel free to pause the video. And for entrees, we have pasta, sea bass, chicken, pork tenderloin, prime rib, lots of options. And for bread service, we have an herb brioche with roasted onion dip, sounds delicious. And of course, we have the typical lighter note offerings with tonight's kind of little special being warm water lobster salad. So excited for the Mardi Gras. Mood lighting that happens. That is some nice mood lighting that happens for the Evangeline song. Oh my gosh, we never noticed it until just now. <laughs> it's so pretty. All right, tonight I got these sausage fritters, which I have gotten before, so I have a feeling these will still be just as good. The only thing is I always forget to ask for more sauce. It's some sort of, it looks like some sort of like sriracha mayo or something that's served with it. And I always mean to ask for more and I forget. Again, I think it's just personal preference but I like for there to be a little bit more sauce or you know, whatever it is that is here. If I had a little bit more, I may rate it differently but I'm gonna give this three and a half paws out of five. How are they gonna go to town? So Cody and I got the same thing tonight. So we're gonna try it at the same time and then rate and see how we both like it. <laughs> trying to steal my knife. Oh, I should probably also say it was the prime rib that we got. <laughs> Some important information. <laughs> One thing, this prime rib comes with a double baked potato. So good. I love double baked potatoes. <laughs> Not my favorite sauce. So, I like sweeter things. Um, this is not really sweet, so I'll give this a three and a half out of five. I think the sauce isn't bad. It's, it's pretty good, it's just I prefer sauces with a little more flavor. So, that's the only thing I have to say, but I mean, it's still pretty delicious. I would, oh, I'm hovering between a 3.5 and a, and a four. I have meditated deeply on this. I will also concur with Cody. 3.5 paws out of five. I knew it. I knew it. Could have saved me five minutes of footage right there. It's crazy. She's eating in this shirt. And she's never she, she's never washed it. What's wrong with you? I wore it for the soiree tonight. I didn't really. Why don't you bring a change of clothes? I didn't really think about the fact that dinner was right afterwards. That shirt is expensive. I'm not gonna spill. Famous last words. Oh my god. We have our dessert menu tonight in Tiana's. Can't forget Ray Ray up there at the top. All right, here's our dessert menu. We have the usual specialty drinks. Of course, pause this at any time if you want to look at them. And then the important stuff right over here, desserts. And the signature dessert, oh my god. And I think the dancing is starting, so that's my cue to head over there. It's happening. Yeah. It looks like you're rocking inside a French corner with you, my friend.
chocolate espresso sauce I asked for just chocolate sauce because I'm not a huge fan of espresso so I just know this is gonna be delicious it's pronounced espresso oh my god don't listen to Cody <laughs> mm. 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 protect the shirt okay now you can eat no way it's falling out Okay, there you go. I'm good. I've been bibbed <laughs> to protect the shirt. All right. Obviously, beignets, chocolate sauce, five out of five. Five paws out of five. It's so good. <laughs> All right. Just finished up dinner at Tiana's. Ooh. This no, one. no. This one. This one. Ooh, this one. This one right here. Oh, man. Dang it. Cody got it. <laughs> Oh, no zitch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Like my cheek itch. Right. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this cruise, but all of the cast members yeah, are they've just been so great. Yeah. We've been meeting so many amazing We've cast had so members. many people like ask about our channel and yeah. stuff. It's been so nice. Oh my gosh. Like I am just like, blown away I'm by this. Yeah. I'm flabbergasted, blown away. Like Everything about this cruise has just been amazing. Even even with the even with the little hiccups with like the White Pass Railroad and I mean really that was kind of the only one. Um, this has just been like this cruise has been an absolute dream. We got a pan no, princess in the frog pan. This one's really cool too. Oh. And then, this little guy. and then we got a duck. That's like the smallest duck it's ever. That's adorable. Yeah. That's great. Look at it. Never. Anyway, that duck is going on or in our duck advent. collection. Oh, oh, that's a such a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a crab. A crab. <laughs> the crusty cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? Why are we getting this? I don't want. I don't want Canada stuff. Is that what that is for? I mean, it, it's for um, like customs. I don't want that yet. We still have we still have two days until I, we're back. All right, hello everyone. Hello. Today is the end of day number. Wait, hold on. <laughs> end of day five here in Juno, and boy, what a doozy of a day. Doozy of a day. <laughs> yep. First, we got on a helicopter. That was equally fun and terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> then we sledded with some sled dogs, which is really cool, up on top of a glacier. Yeah. Then we drank glacier, glacier water. water off of a glacier, mm. at which point we then got back in the helicopter, <laughs> went back to the airfield, and then went on our second excursion, which was a salmon bake, which was delicious and unbelievably beautiful. Yeah, it was an absolutely amazing day. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, like yeah. so fantastic. I can't even, words can't describe. Yeah, and then it ended with a Mardi Gras celebration oh at Tiana's, which how cool was that? Yeah. Thank goodness I did not miss it this time. Mm -hmm. Like, whew, yeah. again, see, this is just the greatest cruise ever <laughs> and we still have a couple days left. So we'll see how it goes. So thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight and following along with us as we do a bunch of crazy stuff and if you're enjoying that stuff a lot uh, please make sure to like and subscribe because then you'll be notified when we do our next crazy thing um, so thank you so much for watching 
uh, our channel. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end right here. But before we go to bed, before we go to bed, we have our game of the night. This one is Monopoly Deal, which I'm pretty sure we have showed this one before. So we're not going to talk about it too much, but it is a lot of fun. Can be a little competitive, especially between the two of us with Monopoly. So yeah, uh, yeah we'll see how it goes. It's but a quick version of Monopoly. We highly yes. recommend. Yes, highly recommend. See, play in 15 minutes. Yeah. Easy peasy. All right. So thank you so much, everyone. And yeah, thank you so much. We'll wend and wander with you tomorrow. We have a bunch of fun stuff planned in Ketchikan. We're going to be uh, kayaking the Tatouche Islands. Ooh. And then I think we have dinner in Triton. I think it's Triton's and then Animators is our last. Yeah, yeah so then dinner in Triton's yeah. and then we'll just kind of see what else we do. So again, thank you so much. We'll wend and wander with you tomorrow. But until then, good night. Hey, everyone.